We ask a lot of our kitchen countertops. They've got to be functional, durable, beautiful, and affordable. We're talking all surfaces in our home today at Dreammaker Bath & Kitchen. That's later in the program. Right now, we're meeting with the co-founders of Bend Health. This is Monica and Kurt Roots. Thanks for joining us today. Thanks for having us. Mm -hmm. So tell us about Bend Health. What is it, and, and why did you begin this company? Why did you start it? Yeah, Bend Health provides curated and expert child and adolescent psychiatry, nursing, and mental health coaching to kids and their families. I grew up in a small town in Wisconsin, and you know I had a brother who had autism. And getting access to expert care then was a challenge, and it still is actually a challenge today. Mm -hmm. um, the average wait time to see a child and adolescent psychiatrist can take anywhere from six to 12 months. And that's coupled with the fact that up to 61% of kids are actually misdiagnosed. That's why at Bend Health, what we're doing is we're providing expert care through clinically validated collaborative care and an AI and tech-enabled platform to give more access to families who need it without the wait. Boy, and when people need help like that, they need it right away usually. They can't wait mm -hmm. or shouldn't wait. Yep. Yeah. yeah, and I've heard like now during the pandemic, so to speak, um, it's been a longer wait, right? So I know at Bend Health, you guys are a little bit different with your online services. Can you tell us a little bit about that? Yeah, there are three really unique aspects to what we're trying to do. First is that you'll hear from a child adolescent psychiatrist within 48 hours, not the typical six to even 24 months that it may be depending on the location. The second piece is that we actually work with the child or the loved one's primary care physician or pediatrician. We really think about mental health care as being whole body, whole family. And so we really want to work with all the practitioners that are helping out to see how we can help with home life, school life, and whatever might be going on. And then third is that we really want to meet families where they're at and be able to offer them multiple ways of communicating with us. So they can do that through messaging, they can do that through uploading videos, they can do that through communicating through other means and sometimes without even an appointment, just giving us that information so we can start helping. Because we know that every family is unique, they're all snowflakes, right? And we want to be there however they need us. Wow, that's awesome. One thing that most families are facing now are the upcoming holidays. <clears throat> I'm wondering what kind of tips you have for families as these holidays approach. My top three tips are the following. First, find 10 minutes of solitude. I don't mean being lonely. I mean finding time on your own. Put away the technology, all the music, maybe even go out into nature and walk. You will be amazed at what happens at just 10 minutes of being on your own centering your thoughts and really connecting with what's around you. The second one is find one meal a day to sit down together and put away the electronics. And I even mean the Apple Watches. Put them in a different room, turn it all off, and be there for each other. Feel present and communicate. And the last one is take a hot shower or a hot bath two hours before you're going to go to sleep. What really happens in the hustle and bustle, right, is that your cortisol might be a little bit increased, your stress hormone, your body might be a bit amped. And so what happens when you take a hot shower, a hot bath, is that your core body temperature goes up and that really quick decrease actually releases a a uh, chemical called melatonin, which helps you feel sleepy and go to bed. And sleep is so important during this time. Oh my gosh, what's great nice, advice. Yeah, yeah. And what's uh, nice is they're all pleasurable things to right, do. Yeah, right? Not right. a chore at all. <laughs> oh, Thank you for those. Nice. Yeah. Oh, and for our viewers watching, um, can you just kind of go into it a little bit about affordability or if you guys take insurance as well? Yeah, yeah. So if you come to us through your family <laughs> physician or your pediatrician and we have a referral relationship with them, um, the services are covered uh, through insurance. Um, nice. And so, you know, if you come to us directly, what we offer is a 30, for a limited time, we offer a 30 day free trial along with a low monthly subscription fee that can be covered through your HSA. And the last thing is, is that we provide a money back guarantee that if you don't get better, you don't have to pay. Oh, that's amazing. Have you ever heard of that? Oh, no, I haven't. I've never heard of it's that. a new concept in healthcare that we yeah. really believe, um, you know, should be done. I agree. I think that's awesome. That's really amazing. So now that we have your interest, <laughs> how do folks get started with Bend Health? 
The first piece is just go to bendhealth.com. We have a free mental health assessment. These are many of the assessments that you would typically do in a traditional setting, mm -hmm. and we'll help you start to understand what may be going on with your child or your loved one. And these are the exact same assessments that we're going to use to help you along the way. So go ahead, go to bendhealth.com. We're here to help. Oh, that sounds great. So we're speaking with Monica and Kurt Roots. They are co-founders of Bend Health. Now, you're an MD? I am. And you have an MBA and a master's in science. Correct, I do. We've got some good credentials here and some <laughs> great people. Thank you for starting this Thank business. You. Thanks for having us. And yeah. thank you for watching. We'll be right back.